So recently it was revealed that XAI had accidentally published over 370,000 Grok interactions on the internet and worse than that, they were searchable. Now, of course, this does lead to an interesting question about privacy. If you're asking a large language model something that you don't want other people to see, you don't want other people to read, you certainly don't want other people to search about it, what are your options in terms of a privacy-focused a way to use large language models. Now, of course, privacy problems exist in all online services. Sometimes these things are leaked accidentally, the wrong configuration, the wrong thing happens, and the data is there. And sometimes it happens because of malicious intent. But no matter how it happens, once the data's out there, it's out there. Now, one sure way to make sure your data isn't exposed is to make sure your data isn't sent there in the first place. If they have nothing of yours, then there's nothing they can publish. So in this video, I want to show three different ways that you can use advanced large language models without the worry that your chats are going to be exposed on the Internet. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. So let's ask ourselves the question, what's actually going on with a service like ChatGPT from OpenAI. Now, when you're using a service like ChatGPT, it will record the uh, chat history. Uh, now, there is a kind of a, a, a privacy mode, turn on temporary chat. This chat won't appear in your history, but that's good. Or it won't use or update ChatGPT's memory or be used to train our models. So that's all very good. However, for safety purposes, we may keep a copy of this chat for up to 30 days. So at some point, this still could be seen by a human. Uh, I'm sure they say that it's anonymous, but there is that note that they still might keep a copy for 30 days. So if you're not happy about that, you need to find an alternative. Now, the first way to ensure complete privacy is to run the model locally on your PC. And that way there is no information being sent up to the cloud. And you can do that using software like Olama. OK, so with Olama, I can run the model completely locally. Nothing gets sent up to any servers anywhere. Particularly be aware that you don't have web search on or turbo switched on. We'll talk more about those in a minute. And here I'm selecting the OpenAI 20 billion parameter model. If you've got a graphics card with a good amount of VRAM, then you should be able to run that. If you want a smaller model, then you can click here and pick something that fits your setup. And then you can go ahead and ask a question. We'll ask it something fairly simple. What is the capital of France. Now this is running completely locally here. No other servers are being used. No information is being sent anywhere else. Now the only thing to watch is that if you click over here on the uh, chat history, you can see what is the capital of France appears. And if you'd like to remove that from your computer, then you right click, hit delete, and that will go away. And now you're back to an empty prompt and nothing has been remembered and nothing has been sent to any other servers. Olama also has a feature that allows you to interact with very large language models while maintaining your privacy. Now, if you'd like to run a model bigger than your local hardware capabilities, then you can go down here and we can select, for example, the 120 billion parameter version of the OpenAI open source model. And then we can click on Turbo. And that means it will send the information up to Olama's servers. Now, that might seem quite worrying that they're sending the data up to the server. But what, look what it says here. What data do you retain in turbo mode? Olama does not log or retain any queries made via turbo mode. And the reason for that is they're not trying to use the messages to retrain the model because this model comes from OpenAI. Olama is separate. They don't need to keep the models. So they say, we're not going to log anything. We're not going to keep anything that you send us. OK, so now we can go ahead and do this search and it will come back pretty quick because it's using the servers over at Olama. We've got a very fast response over 120 billion parameter model, but they're not logging or keeping that data. Now, Turbo Mode does allow you to run larger models, as I've just shown you. It's privacy first. They don't retain any of the data to ensure privacy. But one thing to note is it is meant to be a paid service. At the moment, I seem to be get using it for free because it's in preview mode. But in the future, that may be a monthly payment. And another option is to use an AI service that is aimed specifically at this cause. It's privacy sensitive and they're not going to record your chats. 
Now, a well-known name for privacy in terms of email is Proton, and this is Lumo by Proton. So it's an AI service that respects privacy. Look what it says down here. Unlike other assistants, I don't record our conversations. Not even Proton can access the chat history. Our conversations are never used for training. So that's really, really important things. And we can go ahead and ask them, uh, what is the longest river? in Europe, let's just see about that. So while the AI is running in the cloud and it, the request is being sent up there, they're not logging or recording anything about this. And there you have it. Now I'd love to know your thoughts. Do you worry about the fact that the chats that you send up to these large language models are used to retrain the models? Do you worry that they are stored? Do you worry there is a potential they could be exposed? I'd love to hear your thoughts. My name is Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you like these kind of videos, then why not stick around by subscribing to the channel? Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.